how you develop customer metrics that will actually give you insights. I've been doing some work with one of the largest hotel chains in the world and obviously customer data is critical to them. They want to understand how well they're doing. So they asked me to come in and review their overall performance management approach and help them improve it. A few years ago, they developed their own in-house customer survey. And like so many other companies, what they did is they went out, looked at existing surveys, cobbled their own survey together and then used this. Their aim was to basically see improvements over time and they've done that. So they have lots of performance data, lots of reports coming out and as part of their monthly and quarterly performance packs there is a, a bit on customer information showing an upward trend indicating that customer performance has gone better over the years. But this is probably as far as it went because I asked them a few questions saying okay this is all interesting but how does it compare to other hotels? And they couldn't really answer this. I asked another question saying, okay, how is this information helping you to improve performance? What are the kind of things you need to do differently? And their survey was pretty standard saying, was the reception friendly? Was the room tidy? Was the restaurant good? So all these kind of questions. And in the end, what I said to them is that this is a bit like asking a customer about the things that you feel they want and then say have I given you what I think you want instead of actually asking the customer have I given you what you want so they realized that their existing metrics were not very good not delivering them lots of insights so we changed this and what I brought in is the net promoter score the NPS this is basically a single metric that says or ask one question saying how likely are you to recommend us to a friend and then ask gives you a scale from one to ten and then people say yes one definitely not ten absolutely and then you get insights the beauty of, of something like a net promoter score is that suddenly you have a metric that you can benchmark because it allows any hotel to put, the, put this into context of other hotels so you get benchmarks of the hospitality industry and suddenly this metric actually means something you see where you are in comparison the other thing we brought in is we extended this net promoter score with two more questions one where we say what do you particularly like about us and the second question is what do you think we could do better what you now have is you have one metric that gives you really good insights, gives you numbers that are benchmarkable. The other two questions give you insights about what you need to do differently, what you can improve and what customers actually like and dislike. So suddenly they have reduced their questions from about 30 to 3, their response rate has gone up and the insights are now really valuable. They have learned completely new things, why people would come to certain hotels. Says, has, does it have, is it the venue? Do they come to certain events? Is it because it's close to shops or not? Again, again, they can use this for their marketing. The other thing they learned is that certain people in these hotels made a big difference. So in one hotel, it was the bellboys that always made a big difference or a particular cocktail waiter. So these kind of insights you wouldn't get from the standard survey that just asks 30 questions in little tick boxes, yes or no, yes or no, because it doesn't give you what, give you, it doesn't go beyond the very, very simple tick boxes. So we had better metrics. The other thing we did is we then looked at what data is already out there. We now live in a world of big data and lots of other organizations, lots of other ways of collecting data. So they looked at companies like TripAdvisor and Booking.com and what they do is they collect data. And interestingly, their response rate is actually higher. So more people or people are more likely to answer a survey that comes from Booking.com or TripAdvisor than from this particular hotel chain directly. And the beauty is TripAdvisor makes this data available. So you can now pull this in. And again, we created a routine by which every hotel manager, the first thing they do in the morning is they now read reviews on Booking.com and TripAdvisor and they will answer them. And they will take this information and put this into their own scorecards. So again, using some of this data, 
The other thing they wanted to do is they wanted to have more granular insights. What I see is that lots of surveys are not done more frequently enough. Companies do them maybe once a month and aggregate them. So they, the survey identified a, a few areas. That was a gym and another area was the reception where some of the hotels were having some issues. So what we did is we installed little terminals. There's a company called Happy or Not that installs little terminals where you basically say, were you happy with the reception check-in experience today? Are you happy with the gym? And then you simply press a button, a green or amber or red indicating how happy you are. And this is now giving them real time insights and it's giving them insights on when certain, when people at reception are particularly unhappy or particularly happy. And for me, these are great examples of actually moving to better insights. This company had plenty of KPIs, they had great report, but they're not, not giving them, they were not giving them what they needed. Making a few tweaks, we now have benchmarkable indicators, real insights from the open questions, and more real-time data from the happy or not terminals, and bringing in external data. This is, has made this whole process cheaper, their response rate has gone up and their insights are now really actionable. This is what I do with my clients. I help them develop performance management systems and better ways of gaining insights from data that really drive performance improvements. Hopefully, I will see you in my next video. If you would like to learn more, head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find tons of articles, white papers and videos that will give you a lot more insights into real-world case studies and examples.